Okay, sir, I'm gonna use your comment for content. I never brought up his ethnicity, but I did bring up the fact that he does have mental health instability. It's on record. No one's making excuses. It's a fact. Are you saying that because I made the comparison of his case with Lori Daybell, who is not an African-American individual? Regardless of ethnicity, Lori Daybell, even though she's in a different jurisdiction and she didn't attack a judge, she was given the opportunity to get mental health treatment. Once she was treated, she was allowed to return to court and they had the proceedings. Mr. Redden, however, has not been properly treated since his diagnosis. But you would know that if you actually cared to look into this case. I'm a paralegal and I've worked with mentally deficient clients over the years. I recognize the symptoms. I don't see why he was not given the opportunity to get treated, but Lori Daybell was. Mostly because he attacked a judge and all of these judges are gonna to stick together and he's gonna get the absolute maximum on everything. And his mental health is not being considered. When your mental health is required to be up to par to be tried in a court of law. But for some reason, it doesn't apply here.